we both volunteer. Um, I'm a volunteer on the youth committee and also part of my local interface group. We also go into schools and talk to children in that capacity. Um, I volunteer as part of the schools project, so I go into schools around Scotland and um, talk about faith with uh, school children of uh, 18, uh, to 11 to 18 years. I think it helps you to become a rounded person. I think it's very difficult in the society that we live in to go about and not meet people of other faiths. And if we can do that in a, almost like a controlled environment, if we can introduce younger children to faith and interfaith work, it means they're not scared. Mm -hmm. They're not scared to ask questions. They're not scared to go up and talk to someone just because they're a different faith. They can refresh the interfaith community. I think they can provide a new um, point of view on the for the interfaith community. And I think young people, especially very young children, can provide comparisons between faiths that perhaps as we get older we don't look for. We look for the differences as opposed to the similarities as mm -hmm. we get older. I think that um, one thing that's a challenge is not so much for the young people, but it's for us because we have a duty of care for those young people when we're in there. We need to be careful about what we present to the young people because they're vulnerable. We need to be careful about how we present it to young people. Whether we don't, we can't present it as this is the only view of a Muslim or a Christian or a Hindu. This is a view, and we need to make sure that, that they understand that faith is nuanced. Just as every issue in this world is, it's got many different facets to it and they need to, they need to be able to see that so that they can understand that we're not here to judge them, they're not here to judge us and we shouldn't judge each other, we should be open to each other, we should be open to learning from each other. And I think that that's, that's a, big, a big risk when we go into schools when we choose volunteers. The first time you see them for real is when you see them in front of children. And it's very important that you trust that person when you send them into a school with children because they can do a presentation in front of an adult and it's very different to how they do it in front of a child. It's actually quite intimidating standing in front of a group of small yeah. children, more so than a group of adults. And I think it's making sure that you get the balance right and you don't try too hard to impress them, you just allow them to understand um, what you've got to say and allow them to comment, allow them to speak and give them their space and their time because an interfaith forum is just as much about people who are experiencing it as the people who are providing it. Mm -hmm.